Oh, hello there. And welcome back to Bloodstained. You've just caught me preparing for the final battle. Uh, there's a lot changed since you last watched an episode yesterday. Um, for a start, the playtime is three hours higher. I've been and done a lot of things, uh, including maxed out a lot. Not all, but a lot of the yellow uh, shards because I discovered that if you max them out, they become permanent skill shards and you don't need to equip them. Uh, I've also been and upgraded the Crystal Grim to its, its full-on version. And I've got some bits and pieces uh, in terms of gear. I'm actually going to uh, take these and swap them over to the damage ones for crits. And there's one more thing that I want to do. I haven't been... Uh, I haven't been to the library in ages. So I just want to go and see if not Alucard has got any uh, not books for us to equip. Because I'm currently using ones for farming. Yo! I've come by some new reading material. He has come by some new reading material. The ultimate tome equivalent to prowess, tailwind, and mastery. Oh. So, more... What was Tailwind? Well, Tailwind is movement speed. What's Prowess? Prowess is attack speed. Well, I might as well use that then. So, Prowess, Tailwind, Mastery. Uh, attack speed, movement speed, proficiency growth. I'm assuming that's to do with... That's either XP... Or weapon skill growth. And it's, we can still have the look one. That tome is especially valuable. Make absolutely sure you return it. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Right. So we've got a little ways to go to get back to the boss fight. I'm assuming the last little bits of the map is the 100%. The, the unless I've missed a room somewhere, which is quite possible. This green aura around me is um, the, the one that lets me see. Bing. It's the one that lets me see. This was the room where I thought we were going to have to fight something on the way back out. Stop. Oh. Okay. OD? I warned you. What you take from the library must be returned to the library. I've, I've literally just had it, so that was what's triggered this. Oops. You'll pay for this transgression. So we're going to have to fight Death him? This is too kind for you. What? Return what you borrowed. Whoa. Dead. Oh, joy. Jesus! Hey, that! Um, hmm. I haven't stocked up with, uh... How the hell am I supposed to avoid most of his attacks? 
Well, that was a great start. Um. Oh, yeah, I've got 420 gold because I've spent it all. Oh, and I ha... I think... Oh, that's not saved anything, actually. But in that case, if we go down here now... Will this door... Yeah, see... So it's if we take out that book... I'm assuming then that he's an optional boss, in which case we'll go and face him afterwards. Uh, because my objective... Uh, down, 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 down. Because my objective for today is to complete the game. Not to fight an optional boss. Which we'll do if we've got uh, time. Because uh, we're only six minutes into this episode. So let's see what Dominique's... Yes, yes, yes. You're so baddie. Memory has f uh, I have you and shards. Baddie, baddie, baddie. Because what while his... Yada, yada, yada. Skip. Oh, cartographer. So that is the... Oh, I got her. Fail. I summon thee to my side. Ah, so we are get it's not even a vital form. Hello? Oh hi. Uh I'm taking damage from all over the place. I can't tell. I can't tell what's even hitting me. Can't see squat in this fight. And so all the weak need their 
Well, that's really annoying. So I'm going to get through this fight without... My controls have gone a bit weird. You leave me no choice. Bail. Right, let's try this again. My side. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that was... Maybe I panicked? Whoa, that's... Trippy yet cool. Hello, uh, Johannes. Dominique. You see the true villain all alone? Done so much good, but... I know. I know. Wait. The Liber Logaeth. The book that started it all. What are you going to do with it? Lock it away. The same thing the master was trying to do before he died. He inscribed Enochian letters onto each of the castle's structural weaknesses. Now, I will use the book to perform a rite here at the heart of the castle. Okay. The rite will activate the Enochian script and send the castle and demons back from whence they came. That's what Alfred was trying to accomplish. All of this would have been a lot smoother if people had just told us what was going on towards the start. We need to begin. Stand back, Miriam. We're in the castle. Um. Chung, 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 chung. Ah. But this is what it looks like from the outside, properly. I like the fact that you can just see something that looks a little bit like Dracula's head at the top of the stained glass window on that door. This is a very familiar... Why are we here? I've still got the regen numbers above my head. Ah, daylight. Yes. You've made the world right again. Yes. Not without sacrifice. Gerbil. 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 Alfred. Tongetsu. Sad face. Fate was already sealed. There was nothing you could have done. But was there? And the master and Tongetsu made their own choices. Fought gladly and proudly for what they believed in. It did. It's true. Lives like theirs deserve to be celebrated. True. 
and demons still remain in this world. We can breathe later. After finishing the last of them off. Yes. That reminds me. The master took note of how I was forestalling your corruption and suggested some improvements. Oh, good. I think I might be able to stop the crystal from overtaking Yay. you permanently. Really? I can't make any promises, but yes, I think. Good. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> Interesting that the text does not match up with the All right. the the spoken dialogue. Welch. Oh, the audio's a bit off there. Game over. No. And there we go. So I managed to 100% the map after all. I was a little bit worried that I'd missed something. Warlock Dracul. Interesting that they have got surnames as well. Bloodless was the name of the stupid witch. Um, thoughts then. A solid Bigavania experience. Ew. I was... David Hater did the narration for this. Um, he's the voice of Solid Snake. Or was. Are we the kids? Yeah, a really solid experience. Not mind-blowing in the same way that Symphony of the Night was the first time I played that, or even Hollow Knight was. Um, but very much a traditional Metroidvania experience with the, the proper Igavania leveling aspects of it. Very much a successor to games like Aria of Sorrows with its ridiculous amount of collecting things. Um, and Order of Ecclesia, to an extent. Solidly designed map. I do feel that... Some of the systems in the game are a little bit obtuse, and... Some of the things that... We got very, very late in the game would have been useful ever so slightly earlier. Ever so slightly earlier. Not by huge amounts. Um, there were some bosses that were really interestingly designed. There were some that were kind of okay. Uh, the, the bloodless vampire witch lady, I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, but she wasn't a terrible boss. Just a little bit too RNG for my liking. Um... And there are lots and lots of options for how you want to play this game. The um, you know, the arsenal that you could craft is ridiculous. There's so many weapons that you can get. And lots of them you have to craft and then put the ones that you've crafted together into a new one. And it kind of funnels down like that. Um... Which, if you are the kind of person that likes collecting all weapons, that will give you many, many more hours than even I've got out of it. That. Um, it reminds me, actually, of Final Fantasy XIV's crafting system from 1.0, where you need to craft all the parts individually before you can craft the item as a whole. Um, it's just a little bit too... I'm not going to say complex or obtuse, because it's neither of those things. It's a little bit too too tedious for me. Uh, and I'm a guy that spent three hours before this episode uh, farming between, between screens constantly. I, I like the mundanity and the repetition of that. Um, it's quite satisfying once you finally get the, the souls that you want or the shards that you want, and you, you're finally able to, to put together what it is that you are aiming for and i'm sure if i really kind of knuckle down to it the the crafting system wouldn't be too bad the the other issue that i've got with the crafting system is the the prices of things like potions i did eventually get the, the discount card um 
But that's that's purely through over that extra three hours that I did. I had to go and fight that slot machine thing a few times um, because it turns out he dropped something that I needed. Um, I was trying to find out what he actually dropped because it got one whole entry for him um, for a drop on the screen. I, I wanted to know, and since you could just pop in and out, in and out, in and out, um, yeah, it turns out it was the item that I needed to upgrade the, the, the not Chrysogrim weapon, which is a, a handy stroke of fortune. Um, what I'm going to do after I finish recording this is go to the Googles and go and look up uh, you know, maps and build guides and stuff for, for bits and pieces that I, ha that I have missed. Being able to find out exactly where things are without having to go through the menus in the game uh, will be quite quite good because it means I can have it on my second monitor while I'm playing the game and not have to worry about things. Also, of course, means that I get to just play the game as opposed to, you know, this, uh, where I, I'm, I'm constantly thinking, oh, I can't make progress, I can't make too much progress because, you know, I want it recorded. There are some bits and pieces recorded from in between these episodes. Um, you know, a couple of two-hour-odd files, um, which I'm not going to go through. Uh, I've I thought I might do a highlights thing, but I've decided against that. It's, it's a lot of work, um, and I've got a lot of work for work this week. So, well, yeah, we're not going to do a highlighted thing. We're just going to put out the, uh, the videos as they stand. This was a cool fight. The, uh, the Alfred fights. Um, again, it's a typical case story-wise of a lot of this grief could have been avoided if people had just spoken to each other. I mean, obviously it wouldn't have helped with Dominique, but there wasn't anything that Dominique could do. Oh, you can still do the... the librarian trick. I suppose the last time I went to the room under him, I hadn't got the... The, the 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 high jump thing might have to go and have a play with that <laughs> just because that's the kind of stuff that i like to do these are the kickstarter backers i believe as i said right back at the start i didn't hear about this kickstarter until well after it had already uh, met its money not entirely sure why um but it's going back a bit there's the game's been in the works for quite some time so it's possible that it was even before i'd i'd started you know, I'd had a Kickstarter account. The music's been very, very good all the way through. Very understated for the most part. I, th I think I've got the person that did the music for Symphony of the Night back for this, but I can't remember their name off the top of my head. I'll put that up on the screen if I remember. This has been a couple of episodes and I know where I've said, yeah, I'll put that up on the screen and I've, I've not. Um... Yeah. Right, let's just let these credits play and see what happens next. Alright, that looks like it's probably going to be it. Thank you for playing. Oh, thank you for making the game. It was a very enjoyable experience. And the best thing about Bigavania games is uh, Army of the Knights. Achievement unlocked. Do I get that for watching the credits? <laughs> I'm going to assume I get that for watching the credits. Let's just check. Or maybe it's just for completing the game. Don't know. Either way, we've unlocked the proper sound mode, which is always nice. Know that Johnny Galanis, Captain Thrashbeard, will be the Pirate King. Dumb, but cool. Jukchong or Payasona. Muzz rocks. May the light of lamp illuminate your way. So I think those are, once again, Kickstarter uh, bat things. Extra mode, we've got Bosch Rush and Speedrun mode. Um, or we should just be able to go... Yeah, so we've got our clear data there. Um, difficulty normal. Cleared 18 hours, 11 minutes with a whole 470 gold. 51 levels. 2nd of June. Glacial Tomb. The Zoom. Right. Oh yeah, that's that's put us 
right back there, hasn't it? So what we want to do now is waystone back. And I'm just going to quickly Hello, prepare oh, for I the optional fights. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's fight off against not Alucard. Return what you borrowed. Return what you borrowed. Time steal. My blood! Oh, wow. He literally just kills you if he gets hold of you. That's, um... I wonder if there's a way of getting out of that. Got that again. Warm. Return what you Return what you saw. I can't see myself half the time. I still use Ah, not this time, bitch. Oh. Shard from him. Time stop field. Was not expecting that. Interesting. Oh, he, it uses up uh, MP like nobody's business, though. Oops. Right, so there's still a lot of things. Uh, if you just check out the uh, the board here. We are still missing a demon. I know where that demon is. There's a demon on the train. 
which I ran into whilst I was doing some farming and he he cursed me multiple times and killed me within like a few seconds um so that was fun um we've still got some quests to do and obviously we've got a lot of items to complete the weapons I honestly don't see myself doing um but the demon log tells you what you what, which ones you've got shards from and so on and so forth I haven't got the shard from them or the scythe mites yeah i think that one is the one on the train i haven't got the one from light elementals or scylla weirdly enough or amy yeah it's a lot of them are the elementals why do you not have that one? Oh, you, you can actually um, move the model around with the right stick. That's cool. I like that. So yeah, uh, uh, this one doesn't give you one. Um, but a lot of the shards are... I wonder whether that's going to give us one that fires off those enemies. Um, 8 bit Overlord. Yeah, I, I don't know. Can I go and fight the Master Carpenter again? Is that a thing that can be done? Because I thought he might be a one and done thing. Mind you, the millionaire guy. There we go. I knew we could do that. Take it. Oh, we can fight him again. So I guess, does he just respawn? Yeah, he does. There we go. That's his shard. What is it? Chisel barrage. Interesting. So both him and the millionaire, um, they can be fought multiple times. That's good to know because that means that you can get multiple of the uh, the things that they drop, which is very, very useful. Either way, I'm just going to save. And one more thing that I'm going to check. is what does this mean about our library book usage? Do, is OD not there anymore? Or is he back and acting as if nothing happened? Oh, he's still here. OD? You're still alive? Vampire. Remember? Why has he got a fake moustache on? Right. Um, sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting your book back. No. You defeated me. Which means you now command me. Pillage my shelves as you please. Okay. Oh, what? I'll go, I'll go with this. We can equip I'll go, I'll go with this. all of them. That is amusing. <laughs> oh, that was totally worth coming to check. So we, there's no low lending limit. We can now just uh, take all of his 
bits and pieces. That has tickled me no end. I'm glad I came back and did that. That's a great way, I think, to end this series with a big chuckly smile on my face. There we go, folks. That is Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, from Koga Igarashi. A uh, Koga? Koji Igarashi. Uh, Creator of Symphony of the Night and uh, the Aria of Sorrow, uh, Castlevania Game Boy games. What a, an amusing and entertaining homage that has been to games of the past. I'm not finished with it, but that is going to be the end of this series. I hope you have enjoyed watching and discovering things i hope with me i hope you have enjoyed the the few salty moments that we've had um because there were a couple the uh the sets you fight and the uh the bloodless witch fights Ooh, but i think looking back now uh, and having again more knowledge it will most likely uh if i do do new game plus well i mean if i do new game plus with this character uh, they're not going to be a struggle at all. Um, but I'm going to have a, a crack at New Game Plus and see what's different. I hope you uh, have enjoyed. And I'll catch you all in the next one. If you did enjoy, do leave a like. Leave a comment below about your thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, I suspect, because uh, I've avoided any kind of review and feedback and stuff uh, until I played it for myself. Uh, I'm going to uh, take a guess that the, there have been certain divisive elements in this. Um... Controls can be a little bit clunky at times. Some enemies can be a little bit eh. The backstep function isn't always as smooth as it could be. But I think overall, considering it's a Kickstarter back game as opposed to a AAA game from a AAA publisher, I think uh, a cracking job has been done with this. Tell me below if you don't. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. The next series, I think, will be uh, the Shadowbringers stuff which actually by the time this episode's out will probably already have started um so enjoy that and i'll catch you all in the next one cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click the like button and subscribe remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time toodle pip